There's no place to escape to. This is the last time. On the left. Side stories. Yeah, your That's when the cannibalism started. Side, Side stories. stories. <laughs> yes. This is one of those things where people want to ask, like, what's the most difficult part of your day, Henry? Yeah. Right? Like, how hard is it to be Who wants you? to ask that? Everybody. All the reporters. Who has ever asked that? There's these reporters outside of my home. <laughs> but, like, all of these people coming to me. Henry, what's incredibly difficult about your day? Civ 6 is one of those things that is difficult <laughs> to do. It's a whole I other side know. life. It's a whole other side. Like, it's, it's, a, it's a job that I have. When yeah, I leave it, here, when you don't see me, yeah. the responsibility I have uh-huh. to my armies Inside yeah. of, I don't even have my headphones But on. isn't even one of those games where you don't even play as the characters, you just dictate to the characters what to do? Do you have an idea so how difficult, difficult it is to be the general of everyone? Yeah, but I Coming don't. Coming for me, questions. I, how do we run production? What but even by goals? video game standards, it's easy to play. It is not. It's actually very difficult. No, I know it's difficult. Part of it. It I is, know the strategy, but I'm saying phys- physically, it's the least physical video game that you can play. And, physic- and games aren't even physical. What do you, what do you mean? You don't even do this. I'm looking at my little PlayStation fingers. So you're trying to tell me that, I, that I you're play Madden. Madden. You're saying yes. that you're Madden My Madden, Madden is more athletic than your Civ. I, well, okay. You know what? I try not to ever give you an inch, ever. It is true. But I am starting, yes. Okay. It is true. I can true. see how, I have seen you play because like, to be honest, go, it, uh, uh, it is kind of nice because you do need the movement. <laughs> Right, it helps you get some cardio. I'm gonna in get there. a home gym. I was just googling them. That's the first step. Uh, is that the guy from uh, uh, Big Bang Theory? Is he gonna yes, show up at your house and he's gonna fucking gym. suck your dick until you you, you lose weight? Uh, yeah, I am. But I, uh, it's but I can see. Yes, I've seen you work up a sweat playing Madden. <laughs> I don't know if that's good or bad. I feel like you should check the heat in your home. That was pandemic. Um, but Steve, but Steve seeks is different because mm. when I'm out again, it's just it's. We were talking about right before we started recording with Fernando about how like I just can't sleep after a play because they get so wound up. You get wound up. So now I've been playing yeah. Wilder Myth, which is a new okay. RPG game because I like Good. XCOM because it's a fantasy version of XCOM. They're not paying us any money. No, they're not. It's years no, old. Not. This is also not Holden McNeely's show where we talk about video games that make us fatter. I can make it Holden McNeely's show. You ready? Oh, God. Uh, Henry, Henry, <laughs> why am I so big? Henry, is my shirt getting small? <laughs> like, he did say that to me. He's like, I must have shrunk all my clothes in the laundry machine. I was just I'm like, I don't know, man. All right, welcome to Side <laughs> Stories, everyone. Yeah, you got one of our oldest friends. Woo! Again, 25 years of friendship, and it just seems if you only read the dialogue of what you say about him. I hate him. Yeah. But it's not true. It's because, again, you only roast the ones you love, unless you're paid for by Viacom. Absolutely. All right, everyone. Well, we have a small update here. Where, what, <laughs> what to start with? Do we want to start now? Honestly, this is, I mean, that's kind of a hard, hard segue into Idaho. Yeah, it is. But anyway, this is so it's tragic. Everyone, we all know it. It's well, horrible. I'm getting in a lot of messages from people that are within the town. It is pronounced Moscow. I did not realize that. Idaho. I thought it was Moscow. We it, all this did. is very difficult. It's maybe put an umlaut over the O. No, no, no. Moscow. That, I think that would be Moscow. Moscow. But the people are, uh, that I've got received messages from, uh, everybody is obviously still very frightened about yes. what happened. And they there is a lot of rumors swirling around, which is why you have to be very responsible. You do. And how we present this Absolutely. information. Because we are fourth hand reporters. <laughs> So we can't mess this up. <laughs> that's if we part. mess this I, up, I don't know. We're screwed. I mean, because that's the very fabric of America mm. is the fourth person away from anything that matters. Technically, we're the ones we get the word out the most. So we have to be we have to be careful. But speaking mm. of hands, there was a handprint uh, that has been going around making news. It was on the door window or the uh, glass oh. uh, the glass uh, there of a door, I believe. And uh, there was some speculation that could be. From the suspect. What we talked a little bit before the show is that right now that's still sort of like a nothing burger. We're not quite certain where that what that's leading to yet. Um, we do know that they have eliminated a lot of suspects because there yes. was a guy that was called the hoodie guy. That was a guy that was mm. near the uh, truck. They went to a food truck. So two of the victims mm-hmm. went to a food truck after hanging out at a bar all night. At and they saw some 40 in the morning. Some hoodie guy was there making wise cracks, uh-huh. right? So people didn't know if it was him. He's been exonerated. There was Thank another God. dude that one of the victims was said to have a stalker, but they think it was just some guy that saw her in an ice cream store, walked in and was like, sir, 
So like do you get ice cream a lot? And then he like walked away because right. that's what she said. Eventually she doesn't know. So th whether or not there's a stalker or not, that's another one we don't know. It's scary, dude. We have no clue, but they're saying the handprint, one thing that might've been leaked again, we have no fucking clue. No this is idea. about the four murders again, the four murders that happened of these, these innocent, good, like, the university the, of college Idaho, students, horrible, um, Ethan Chapin, Zaina Kernodal, Madison Mogan, and Kaylee Goncobs. But they're also saying that it might lead towards a speculation that, Ugh. There that the murders were targeted because that's where they're trying to figure out now. Was it targeted? Was it a burglary gone wrong? But it, right. it, it, nothing was taken. So that doesn't really seem necessarily like it makes sense. But and yes. then, of course, we have the two people that were on the bottom floor that were not harmed. So and they've also been exonerated. Yes. Every yes. they have crossed the they're crossing their T's and dotting their eyes. The dog did nothing has been exonerated. Unfortunately, because well. I can also but, see Wendy watching me get murdered. I do know. Yes, of course. And then she'd be like, mm, can't wait to eat him. Mm, that'd be good. Um, but I can only imagine how horrified everybody is there. So uh, truly yes. our hearts are with you guys. And we hope that you stay safe, lock your doors and uh, more sleepovers. This is a good time to have more sleepovers with friends. Yeah, I just see your dirty little thoughts. Why? Because this is all about, because that's what I would do. No, like, this is the time. You if you're a player coffee. right now, if you're one of those players, they still use that word? <laughs> if you're a, you're a player guy, you're a bit of a playboy. If you're a lad about, <laughs> yeah. you go down to the University of Idaho. They're all college kids. You know how they are. They're all horned up, full of semen. This is the time you're like, you know, things are scary out there right now, Benjamin. Right? Mm, yeah. It's just fucking it's scary. I know that you're I, the only know, woman Trevor. named Benjamin I know. Yeah, I know. Right. I'm pretty hot. You know, I'm a man, right? Yeah, yeah Trevor. It's college. Uh -huh. But listen, I wait. Why don't you come over, right? Because it's so scary. And I'm make some like, popcorn. Yeah, we'll make some popcorn. I, I got a, I got a whole batch of fresh condoms. And, and yeah. honestly, it's all just really about being safe. That's what it's all about. It's yeah. about being safe. Well, there right? it goes. We can hold each other in the night. Absolutely, can't wait to do that with you, Mister Trevor. I'm sure everything. Will be absolutely. Yeah, I'm fantastic. a bit of a gad about. I know you. I'm are. a lad about town. Your reputation precedes you. People, you know, listen. I, you know, yeah. There's some. Mm -hmm. I, I travel my way around the panty world. I know. I know that you do. You are full of STDs. Now, there's also an update we got. Again, why I love our listeners is because he's so smart. They're smart. He's so smart. Yeah. Is he like? Me? Oh, uh, Forrest. No, no, no. But you're, you're so smart. You, we asked the question last week. By the way, I, again, that movie, you know, I love Forrest, but I think Jenny really needed to treat him better. She was a I predator. I talk about it. I she know. She was a predator. He was I a know. mentally disabled man, and she milked him for his cum. Isn't and then she sad? stole, stole his cum from a veteran. Are we talking also about, a veteran. Are we talking about Holden again? <laughs> All right. Well, okay, so you guys are so smart. You're so smart. You said, we asked the question last week. Uh, why don't we just shoot nuclear waste into space? Into space. And apparently it is, number one, basically technologically impossible. Great. Um, Anything that you send into space is a loop, right? It goes mm -hmm. into sort of like what they call, um, what is that? When they, when planets go. It orbit, goes into orbit. You. Yes. Right? Yeah. Like the gum. I'm so glad Orbits. I'm explaining this. Um, so you could send things out, right? Right. But the thing is, is that you have back. the you have the yes, you have to beat the sun's gravity, which is actually mm -hmm. very difficult because sure. so you, you it's very difficult. Anything that you send even to lower space or even just outside Race of lower space, time. yeah, yes, slowly but surely could come back to Earth, right? It right. can melt in the atmosphere. That's number one. Because I also found out that it's ninety seven percent of nuclear waste is manageable. Right. This all comes from this video. But the, what these guys are called. I can't pronounce the name of the YouTube video that I saw that was sent to me by you guys. And it's called like Kurzak is that. Curse Gazette. Curse Gazette. I, I wish I, I could help I them. love Curse Gazette. As a matter of fact, he's a new, new exchange student there at the University of Idaho. And I heard he's got a huge Russian dong. Go have sex with him. He calls it a Sputnik. He's making compromise. Yes. Um, but uh, the, so that's one thing, right? One thing. It comes so back. It, come, it can come back in the land. So, all right. So 97% of nuclear waste is manageable. Great. And manageable-ish. Right, we Fantastic. take it, we bury it underground, we melt it into a bunch of glass and concrete, and we hide it. Put right? a nipple there's, on it. But there's three percent that's extremely dangerous right. that we don't know what to do with. And every single country has got a pile of it. Apparently, there's something mm -hmm. like a hundred thousand tons of this very, very dangerous nuclear waste just sitting around. Well, that's good. Um, and so most most governments currently mm -hmm. are on the 
The kids will figure it out. Kids will figure it they out. They are just kind of rolling the dice, figuring out those Zoomers, they love TikTok. They'll figure out nuclear Absolutely. waste. Absolutely. It's only 3%. Why wouldn't they? It's, it will get it done. But this is the thing. So we send it out like so one layer yeah, of space. As a matter of fact, I think they might be putting into this Rockstar energy drink. Is that why you got well so fast? Oh. I mean, it did take me about 10 days. Yeah, but, you were sick. And I gave it to my little brother. Fuck yes. yeah. Got him. <laughs> That's what he deserves. It follows. Um, but uh, you had sex with him. No, I did not, and that's disgusting. And please, God, keep it out of your mouth. Okay. So the loop, so you try to make a bigger loop, right? You try to go, like, you know, maybe we'll fire it into the sun. It's actually very difficult to fire something into the sun, I apparently. believe that to be true, yeah. Because yeah, uh, me too, I just thought, Berkey, shoot it into the sun. Shoot it into the sun. Right? I, you know, I say let's maybe not try to shoot many things into the sun. But you Leave look at the this, sun right? alone. It's only got a couple more billion years left. Yeah, honestly, let it live. And once it goes, we're done. Eat, shine, love. I watched one of these uh, little videos. They said, what if Saturn was gone? And then we just get hit by a bunch of asteroids because apparently the asteroids get sucked they up get into Saturn's Saturn. But butt. also the moon is the reason why. That's why they get all upset. Apparently all of them are pretty important. Everything is pretty crush. Yeah. At this <laughs> juncture. I guess. I guess. I was like, who cares about that Saturn? It's a shitty car. And then it turns out it's helping us not have uh, been bombarded by comets. And this is called growth. Yeah. We're learning every day and we're learning all about because most of the times we just see planets as a thing that you go sell pizza out of and then you have sex with children in the basement. of. But oh. it's nice now that we, now we know that mm. these are actually celestial bodies that are outside of our of our realm and they're protecting us. Right. Like, they're, like they're older brothers. Teams. Absolutely. And so that's one thing. Right. So it's very difficult just to get it out there. It's also apparently it's very expensive. Mm, we like, don't have that money, huh? No. Would you feel like if we all pulled our money together, right? Like, because they you would think be- this should be on us. Maybe a swear jar for the government. Every time a government official swears, they put, put a dollar a, put in the a jar. Dollar in you there. put a dollar in the yes. jar. Every single time they stick their <laughs> finger up like a child that they cloned. You put a in dollar the in the jar. Put a dollar in the jar. Mr. Sm- Graham, Lizzie, s- did you put the dollar in the jar? Let me smell that finger, Prince Andrew. <laughs> oh, God. Um, uh, but uh, so, again, very expensive. We don't want to spend the money. Um, and then apparently they don't want to set up the precedent of shooting things at the moon. Apparently that's right. also like a no one wants to normalize it. I understand because completely. Because once we're in the normalizing it, like, then everybody's going to want to shoot shit at the moon. I know well, I'll want to. Well, look what happened when they started to allow dunking in basketball and how out of hand it's gotten. Oh, so oh, what yes. I would Tell say, me, though, it's a distraction for my favorite part of the game, which is the dribbling. The layup. Um, the WNBA. You're going to enjoy that. <laughs> um, if you don't like dunks and you like dribbling, you're going to like the W for winning basketball a nuclear energy why don't we do that I just we can have energy you're... independence let's we're, talk about it we're but... just saying it's difficult uh, yes and then the last thing is that rockets tend to explode and then if you shoot them up and if anything goes wrong with the rocket yeah it's just gonna spray everything with nuclear waste all right well there we go we'll just keep it right here on earth well let's let's move back to let's take it to earth shall we come let's on, take it to food on. because henry this story i think this is a warning for you me? You like exotic, I'm invincible. You I'm like, Teflon. You're really not. But you you like exotic foods. Mm. And you also hate all of the foods that you eat. You have a dis- you believe I'm the tap of the food chain. It's a well, little man's disease. I believe that it is within our rights, mm. respectively, yes. as the apex predator of the planet Earth to choose amongst the cornucopia of other lives uh-huh. of we can we can eat them. You're a regular because we, we made the phone. All right, we made the phone. We didn't right, do when anything. The, when the squid, well, I did nothing. Yeah. But if the squids can figure it out, they'll use a fucking phone and even they, they can't could. even use I a bet phone. They could. I bet you they could over time. Uh, they can put blocks in the proper hole, which people think is pretty cool. Uh, liver King. <gasps> okay. But anyway, all right, right. That, that's a thing. whole nother thing. But right, now, Liver King is this story. You're upset about Liver King? Uh, no, He's I on love steroids. It. No, fuck him. Fuck that piece of shit. It's so funny. Well, because he's he, a five foot five man. Well, yes, he is. You're actually taller than him. I know. Isn't that amazing? No, and I know because it's like. But that's right. why everyone knew he was on steroids. Well, everybody knew that Liver King was on steroids. The problem with Liver King. So for those of you that don't know, I brought this up on a show a little while ago. People have been obsessed with the social media account, the Liver King. It's a guy that supp- he sells a bunch of supplements. Oh, he, he lives with his organs. hostage family. No, right? they're not. They, to be honest, his family seems to be pretty happy. Lightly brainwashed, but loving the money. Yes, I think so. He calls people that eat normal food primals, 
Well, um, that's which what he's, I didn't well, think that that was bad. No, it's the opposite. Primals is good. I don't think it is. No, it is good. He called a bunch of people primals and he seemed to be calling no, them mean things. Primals are good. He's saying mean things because he's one of those guys where he says mean things. Are he's you like, sure primals are no, good? No, I know for a fact I've been watching his social media for a year. Hmm. Right. It's primals because okay. it's a whole thing about the primal lifestyle. He lives these certain primal tenets. And one hmm. of the big primal tenets is that he lives naturally. He doesn't wash himself unless it's in a river. He doesn't cut or shave. He does not use any sort of artificial soaps. He must smell like a fucking diaper filled with a dead raccoon. He yeah. must smell like the, he must be disgusting. I can't even imagine. And then the other thing is that he only eats raw meat. So he said he only organ eats meat specifically. and organ meats. Well, he eats the tongue, like he'll eat the, he eats the kidneys and shit like that. Ugh. And again, everybody's been saying he's juicing. If you look at him, you know why he's juicing because he has got a perfect body. And then the thing is, is about primal. Well, he has the perfect steroid body. Yes, but for if you really lived primally, you'd go, you would wax and wane. You'd go between skinnier mm. when you are in the 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 winter months where you've been eating grubs Dehi when you're not roots. dehydrating when you're hibernating when you're hibernating. And then you'd also go through kind of blubbier phases. You're not going to get cut. So then a uh, a YouTube channel leaked a series of emails about well, his fucking lie. Long then he basically, story short. Yeah, and he, he spends, quadrupled down saying that he has never once, ever once, ever touched steroids. But now he has admitted to it. And he yeah. said, I lied. And he spends about 1100 bucks on him. But anyway, that's dude, not really it's a not, crime dude. story. It's like fucking, it's a lot of money. It's like it's 12 a grand a month. Was He's it using eleven thousand or eleven hundred? No, eleven thousand. Uh, and it was just, uh, that was the, this whole thing got dug out by a group uh, by a channel called More Plates, More Dates, which is a guy right, who lives who go. says who quote unquote lived natty, and that that's me, man. I live natty. I'm all natural. You are all natural. So that's a little update on the Liver King. And speaking of bizarre foods, there was a fella, and he's a father, and he lives in China, and he has a daughter, and his daughter was swimming in a stream. And then she got bit by a live crab. I mean, it's very scary. I hate animals. This is what, you, what you're saying. Yes, indeed. And so for revenge, the father, the father said, you fucking bit my daughter. You bit my daughter. I'm going to bite you. Yeah, man. Very De Niro-esque of him. Very much so. Turns out the crab had the final revenge because it gave him a bunch of worms. It, well, it's kind of fun, right? Because unlike the Liver King, this man really did eat something. He sacrificed himself for his family. Yes. Right? Two months after 39-year-old, uh, his now we'll go with Lou, I believe. Lou from Zhejiang, which is a very, I think I almost did that right. You in might Eastern have. China. Yeah. He swallowed the crab. He went to the hospital. He's like, I'm not feeling so good. Well, he did it to impress his daughter. His daughter thought it was so cute. He picked up the little crab. He it's went crunching his mouth and she was like oh father well this is nice that he was protecting his daughter I yeah. remember when a group of ruffians they threw snowballs at me when I was nine biking I was on a bicycle and I was and they threw snowballs at me what do you and think was father, it about it it was probably because you were tall and weird looking and no they were stuff. bullies they were just mean they were like old like in hindsight they were like freshman in college yeah. I think that they were stupid that's yeah oh very yeah. much so. that's my, the main thing they're raging against the fact that you still have a future yes and my father went over there and he said you fuck with my son again but it was so weird because it was much less abuse than they than he gave me but my dad said <laughs> you don't fuck with my son I fuck with my son do you think that do, does that not feel weird side stories lpotl at gmail.com I know it's a new thing right you, you want to defend your kids but my thing is that does not um, is it not like the mafia does that make you look weak to the other mm. kids and now oh my, oh your father's got to come and no, do your fights because for you, so? they were they were old they weren't kids my age i no. handled my beefs yeah i handled Ooh. my feuds okay? yeah i know i've seen you handle some beef absolutely so this guy again he eats this crab in front of his daughter his daughter's like you're the best dad of all time and then it turns out he went to the hospital and uh, Tess found changes to his chest oh, his yes. abdomen he was his wriggling liver, with worms and digestive system and everyone's like, well, what the fuck is going on? And then uh, the doctor was like, did you eat something special? And he said, well, I wanted to take revenge <laughs> for my daughter. So I ate this live crab. And they all were like, they high fived him. Yep. And he said, when we were going to when we were by the stream, my daughter was pinched by a crab. So I got angry and put it in my mouth for revenge. It's cute. And then he was infected with at least three different parasites. Um, so there you go. Well, so there's be also, careful. There is a thing that they do. With, I think it's also medicinal. They said it was a, there's a folk remedy that they do where they take live raw crabs and they soak them in liquor. It's like alcohol. A rice um, wine, I think. They do, do they, they do do that. But uh, no, it is, uh, technically it is not recommended to eat anything raw that you just found. 
on the beach. You should wash it because you saw the saw the story with the guy with the slug, who ate the slug and he fucking died. His right. whole body got ripped apart from the inside out from in the parasites. You really gotta want what you're gonna want to do with the crabs. You're gonna want to get some. You're gonna want to get a bunch of them. You want to get some potatoes. Well, you want to get some corn on the cob. You want to cut that up. You want to get some bay spice. Honestly, that's my favorite. Then get some old bay. You pour it over that. You can see a nice beer boil. That's like, like that's how you want to do it. That's medicinal. Although I'm not much of a shellfish guy, but um, they do say even if you bake it or if you if you pop it in the booze and you boil it, they say it's still not going to kill all the parasites. The, it, it, no, it can't. No, it doesn't. So you're taking. Uh, you're 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 embracing the chaos. I wonder what that is. You know, I always when I was a child, I always said, "Well, what's wrong with having a big old worm in you?" And it mm. eats some of the food for you. I just think you. you were lonely. You know, well, it would be nice to have a friend like that, too. But it was kind of nice because you would hear stories about uh, eight and eight and eight. And I never really gained any weight. And I was like, what happened? You're talking about tapeworms. Tapeworm. Well, the thing about tapeworms. But then worms, I think slowly but surely. No, it, it kills you. It you're not getting any nutrients. You. You're starving. You're eating and eating and eating. But you're starving. Like, it's not like you're, it's not a hot new diet. And then I think you dump it out. Yeah, well, that's the way to do it. I think it. you kill it inside of you, and then you have to take and shit it out. This might be fake, but I think what you uh, do is ways to get rid of a tapeworm. I believe what you do is water? you put a a bowl of, I've heard this, you put a bowl of milk on the ground. No, you don't. I mean this, and you if they go to the squat milk? over it. No, you don't. Yeah, I, I Tapeworms I go I might, to the milk? They go to the milk. I think milk. Your, this no. is an Italian. And that you have this to is fish a it out. Here we no, go. no, right, no. Here we go. Here we go. All right. Fastest way to get rid of tapeworms. No, well, this is just medication. That's dumb. Yeah, no, it's All not. Right, no, medication. Bowl of milk. Way to get rid of tapeworms. See, this bowl is this is why milk. the world's so stupid. Bowl How of do milk. you get used to tapeworms? Use it milk. Okay, here we go. This is on Quora, which is, oh you God. know that this is, and it's just as good as Yahoo Weathers, mm -hmm. which means it's real, right? First of all, you want to name the tapeworm. So it's Very Terry, so. Terry the tapeworm. Um, and you need to give it autonomy and recognize that it's a sentient being and say thank you for eating all those oh, cupcakes. Oh, this says you can eradicate, you fucking can't eradicate parasites with milk. Fuck you. Even Quora says you can't do How that. How do you get rid of, that's milk if Quora, worms. If it's too stupid for Quora. No, there's something, I've seen this thing where a guy squatted over, I want to say it was you beets. Did see. It was like yeah. soup. Uh -huh. And then the tapeworm crawls out of you looking for the soup. Yeah, buddy, I don't think that was a medical out, video. I'm not a fucking, again, if you if you looked up how to get rid medical. of tapeworms and it led you to this podcast, this is not real. You know what I mean? It's not real. The way you get rid of tapeworms uh -huh. is that you tape up their little faces, you feed them a bunch, a bunch of Xanax so that they sleep so you can go out at night, and then you take their dead body, put it in the trunk of your car, oh. drive around till it smells, is and then you pizza? leave it someplace else. Yeah, That's a squirrel, isn't it? Yeah. That's mm. how you get rid of a tapeworm. The old Casey Anthony. By the way, fuck Peacock. Uh, we were, uh, they don't, they don't like, they gave all of our money to Casey Anthony. I mean, they did. We, we know were like for so a fact. close I, to getting a show and then they were like, no, nah, give it to Casey Anthony. She murdered her child. I made it through approximately seven minutes of the uh, new special. I would just like truly, and I will say this, I'm going to be, this is, <laughs> I'm being neutral for a wow. second. If you truly want to know what her point of view is, she says all the same shit in her trial coverage, which is on YouTube. So don't give Peacock the clicks. Yeah. If you want to see what her perspective is, it's already out there, and it's just another opportunity for her to make money off a story she already told. And if she was innocent, mm. she wouldn't have done the documentary. Absolutely. I'm just putting that out there. If All you're right. innocent, you want this shit to go away, you want to live I'm your innocent. life in Fort Lauderdale, you want to be like, I'm so sorry about my daughter. Well, she was just at that big party. You saw her at the concert, right? Oh, yeah. She was on stage. Oh, yeah. Well, also, Henry, just sticking in the medical realm, I could I got, I almost, I would almost stayed entirely neutral. You did almost, yeah. Fly from your grave. This holiday season, if you're looking for a unique gift that inspires curiosity, travel, and culture, give the gift of Babbel, the language learning app that sold more than 10 million subscriptions. With Babbel, you only need 10 minutes to complete a lesson, and you can start having real-life conversations in as little as three weeks. Babbel lessons were created by over 150 language experts and voiced by real native speakers, not computers. With Babbel, you can choose from 14 different languages, including Spanish, French, Italian, and German. Plus, Babbel's speech recognition technology helps you to improve your pronunciation and accent. I love Babbel because it's helped me understand different cultures and different languages, and it's great when you're eating at fancy restaurants. Right now, get up to 55% off your subscription when you go to babbel.com slash left. That's babbel.com slash left for up to 55% off your subscription. Babbel, language for life.
I can totally see you doing this. What? You're old. You're in a hospital bed. Yeah, sure. Yeah, Beep. love it. Okay. Beep. Yep. Beep. Oh, God. What's that fucking... Oh, God. I can't see. A 72-year-old woman in Germany has been arrested after she allegedly twice switched off a hosp- her, her hospital roommate's ventilator because she was annoyed by the sound it made. I mean, that's I just can straight totally up. totally fucking oh. see you doing this. Well, I, I have no real problems with noise. I have no problems with noise, really, as much as I have problems with light, right? Like, I do... I need a pitch black room to sleep yes, in. Yes, I right? agree. I'm like that. But... It's hard because you know that that's a uh, it's a, a it's fake, right? What? Maybe I'm wrong. Oh God! What? Inside stories help me out the allergy. What are you wrong about? That it doesn't make the the beep noise when you die when you code. I believe it goes silent, and that the beep goes into the other room where the nurses are. Well, there must have been some fucking noise because she was probably the seventy-two-year-old. Uh, no, she was not uh, even an orgasm. No, no, that's just old people noises. The seventy-two-year-old hey, Biddy. Hey, I'm sick of these zoomers with their abortions. She couldn't handle it, and she said, "You know what? I'm just going to go turn that machine off." But it turns out that was a ventilator, mm. and the person did it twice. And I think they were like, "Don't turn that off again." Say, she's hey, like, "Stop it! She's dying." Every single time you do that, she saw heaven for a couple minutes. Yes. Right? So like, which is actually kind of nice because at least she knows it's coming, so she can go. You shut it off, and she's like, <gasps> and then she like she goes to the oh. pearly gates and shit, and finally like, click it back on. Shoot back to this fucking was, horrible mess of a body. But I was hanging out with Tupac. Yeah. So um, it was 8 p.m. And the lady said she felt disturbed by the noise coming from the oxygen device. So they, she cut it off. Right. And then uh, the suspect was informed by the hospital staff that the oxygen supply was a vital measure. Oh, very much. You can it's, imagine. It's oxygen. Yeah. Um, it's not, yeah. It's not but like then, it's an Arby sauce. But then she is said to have. Well, that might be uh, that might be mandatory also. Then she is uh, said to have switched it off again at 9 p.m. The patient was 79 years old. And uh, she still required intensive care. The suspect was brought before a judge before being taken to jail. But what are you going to do? How old's the suspect? 72. Uh, I actually feel like when they're both in their 70s, there's something where it's like geriatrics just have a different way of doing stuff. I mean, they got free love. They got free love. Marriage don't matter anymore because most of the time they're all dead. Well, absolutely. You got to be, well, you know what? It's different because- We've we've also differed on this before where I mean, and then this is not just because of your past where it's like, I do believe that, like, I don't care if you're 99, get that Nazi, put him in jail. I want him to die. I don't think we really disagree too much with it. But but I mean, like, in terms of they're that old, I don't care that we, we it took so long to get him like put him in fucking jail. So something like this is like the thing about that 72 year old is that, you know, for a fact, this is not the first time that person's been a total fucking mega bitch. Right, no, I'm sure everything. she's not. I mean, that she's somebody. She's a, she is that someone, is a difficult well, human being. She that just likes her act. silence. Well, do you think she's going to get silence in jail? Well, it's a lot of people going like, old. It's like, oh, you people singing their old spirituals well, and guys working out, going, uh, uh, women scissoring each other all night. Yeah, that's 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 exactly what happens there. Um, but I I don't know because I also feel like she might be an old lady jail. And then old lady jail, you just sit there, you knit. It might be more peaceful than this hospital, but won't she just go back to a hospital? Because obviously so. she had in to jail. be there. Yeah, 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 I think she goes back so. to jail. No, I, I, I think it's just but normal isn't it jail. Also, if it's okay, but also, she's paying good money to be there. Oh, this is Germany. Maybe they have like food. No, he, no, it's all state healthcare. Yeah, it's all paid. For. Um, but nonetheless, she committed murder. It's expensive to be, and the person's still alive. The, but uh, she, it's expensive. Oh, for wait. the state to be there. I misread this. I thought that they died. No, they're just like back in intensive care. They're not doing good, you know, because she kept on being like, maybe you'll die now. And they're like, (laughs) like they wanted the oxygen, you know. But I also think maybe the hospital could have been like, this bitch really don't like that sound. Can we find another room for her? I mean, I feel like now we're bending over backwards. We're changing. We're changing all these people around for this fucking bitch. Just wheel them. Wheel them around. I've seen Exorcist 3. Also, man, welcome to life. All right. She's guess 72 what? years old, dude. Yeah. Well, guess what? You should be used to noises by now. No, right? but Unless she's used to complaining a, I, about them. Yeah, I know, but that's the thing. You should be used to noises at this point. You're 72 years old. I mean, I think over time, you become um, less adapting to change noises that you don't like. I mean, she could have just played know. murder. Like she wrote a little bit louder. I, I don't know. Like she's I'm, German. I weirdly think that as I get older, I'm just going to get more like, I don't know. I might like suck a dick when I'm 80. 
That'll be great for I you. I feel like I might Lemon open party. up, like, all the way up. Like, open Good. all the way up. Like, once it gets to the point where, like, who gives a shit? Like, because you don't care what you look like anymore. That's right. kind of nice. You don't give a fuck about, like, I mean, look at well, me. I'm always, like, do. I mean, I'm always at the hot spots with the celebrities. I'm always oh, at the height yeah. of fashion. And the idea of yeah. getting, letting that pressure go, you know, like, finally not having to be the coolest you're guy like, in the you're, room. You're the, the hottest property on the lot. You're, like, the height of 10-year-old fashion. Ten year, a ten year old, a ten year old special. I dressed like the thirteen year old me wanted to dress, but my parents would let me because we were on a very strict budget. Be the thirteen year old you always wanted to be, even if you're almost forty. Yeah, that's why I'm looking at boobies, fucking every single second I can get at it because I remember when there was no internet. Well, that's but fantastic. I'm just saying, I feel like as you get older, you can always do the opposite. That's what I hope. I hope that by the time I'm eighty, I'm so fucking groovy, you know, like whatever, man. Fucking show me your pubes. Excellent. Absolutely. We'll have a good time with it. It sounds like you'll be getting uh, detained for different reasons when you're in your 70s. No. But this woman, uh, anyway, she's facing a series of charges. But uh, I don't know. Again, they're in their 70s. I think you let them have it because I am I remember grumpy old men. Oh. And you watch grumpy old men or grumpier old men. Grumpier. And uh, they're both. It's both. I do know. I mean, and, but uh, I actually kind of like grumpier. Because you I got love them both. Because which one's with Sophia Loren? Who's ooh, she's I believe the, that's the first one. Mm. I think so. And no, the, no, that Anne Margaret was the first one. Who's also so she oh, was hot beautiful. in that movie. Oh yeah, I mean, I, I, you, you got to find a. La- See, this is my problem. It's, it's. Well, anyway, that's a whole other thing. But it's nice when they. Oh, age. You want, oh, you want to do the three-hour-long show of us listing our problems? Yeah. <laughs> like, what's wrong? Well, it's with nice us when you personally when you project like what what's someone going to look like in fifty years? You know, and you're like, hmm, still kind of hot, and then you're and then you're happy. We got to look uh, at the mom. So anyway, there was a, uh, there was a, uh, well, let's move on. Let's, there was a, uh, a, well, I a wanna, cop. You want to do this? This story is actually really fucking scary. Yes. We have a very scary story and we have a more innocent story that I'm emailing you right now. Cause you can see this innocent story, but yes, let's cover this dangerous story first. Um, now my main thing here is right. The, the main message that this story is going to say, is like, you go to watch. What your children do. You do. You got to watch what they do. You got to fucking. I, I'm like this. And I've said but, this before. If I ever had a child, I'm going to be so far up their fucking ass. Like I'm going to be. I mean, there's going to be cameras in the room. I'm going to fucking make horrible. sure. That's I'm not going to be cameras in the room. I can't see their penises. I don't want to. After I, you only see your child's genitalia once. I would do. At the well, very I would, top. I would do one ring cam outside the front door. Well, I go through about, their stuff. I go through all their. I go through all their properties, right? Yeah. I go through all their. Like as soon as they left, I'd go through all their. Closets. I feel like it's really bizarre because I've heard people putting a bunch of camera. I mean, obviously, you know, for security. I don't like Natalie. Like, and I both don't like. Room, we don't have cameras uh, inside the house. We're not in the um, That's what I mean. That's what got Aaron Hernandez busted there because he walked into his own home. The uh, the former tight end for the Boston for the uh, New England Patriots. Is that how we're remembering him? Is it like we're doing the OJ Simpson thing with him? Well, we're going to do the thing and with murderer. <laughs> I think he killed a man named Lewis. <laughs> And then, of course, he killed himself because he thought then his uh, his family would get the money that he had. But then that was not uh, that was was not the case. But anyway, he walked into his own home and gave uh, all the evidence, basically, because he had his gun. He's like, oh, look at my gun. And yes. Anyway. Yeah. No, never. Don't don't narc on yourself. No. There's a guy named Austin Lee Edwards, who is a recently ordained. Police officer, is that what you call it? I don't think I don't know what the so. term is, uh, but he was uh, in Virginia. He was 28 years old. He posed online as a teenager in order to, quote, unquote, this is like the, he uses the word, I use the word groom in this way quite like correctly. Um, this is a, a young girl who was the age of 15 years. She was 15 years old. And um, he basically, he did the whole thing. He pretended to be a 17-year-old. He talked with her online. Uh, I, there's no real information as to how he got to know her right now. I haven't found any of that yet. Uh, but well, it was just on one of these chat rooms, I think. Also, he's 28, right? Yes. I feel like you got to be 36 to be president. You should have to be over 30 to become a police officer. Oh, You know sure. how aggravating that is, especially as we get older? You get pulled over by a fucking 19-year-old. By a child. And you're just like, I know so much more than you. Yeah. You get six weeks of training. That's all. Well, that's just And us. now you can kill me? Wait till we're like 70 and literally everyone is younger than you. That, yeah. Then it's got to be. That is the one thing it does get frustrating, which is their... why I'm going to be sucking dick and licking I, the butt that's and great. fucking doing DMT and shit. We've all seen the footage, but I just feel like at least if they're 30, they might have a family. They know what a mortgage is. They know what like taxes are. Well, you like, know. At least there's something. But, like, but also most serial killers start operating when they're 30 as well. So mm. then you could also turn your those genes could turn on and now you got a badge. Isn't that great? Yeah. Uh, it might have happened quite often. 
Okay. Uh, we don't really know. Uh, so he went, he, he, uh, I, he groomed this girl. He basically like, you know, love bomber doll thing. And he said, I want to come and meet you. And then he, as a 28 year old, he shows up at this girl's house. He kills her mother. Who is a single oh mother at home, God. kills her mother, kills her grandparents that also lived in the home, set fire to the home and then left with the girl. Now, uh, he was caught because a neighbor called seeing like, because this is the again, massive house fire. Yes. And then, well, she saw a distressed girl because now it's in this whole thing right? they're, they're going to tear this part of case six ways from Sunday talking about like, did she go willingly? Is this kind of like how we got to the end of the Charles Starkweather series? But and we also, said like, you're so afraid, like, because they're saying like, oh, she might not have had like a gun to her head, right? Whatever. But if you're so afraid, yeah, and this man showed up who's a trained police officer yeah. that is coming, who has taken you, he may not even need a gun to take you. Because no. now it's also the Charles Starkweather like sunken time and dependency thing too of like, he's killed your parents. Yes, you're fucked, dude. You're now, your whole family's been wiped out. This is, the, now this dude that you're with is now the only person that you know in this room. So it's all fucked up, right? She's 15. She didn't go with him willingly. She had no. no idea what the fuck she was doing. And so that, uh, so they found him, the cops, they, they saw a girl go unwillingly. They said that it looked like she was under duress into the car. Then they saw the, the fire. They mm -hmm. called the police. They finally got him up. Like they, they up there a, a police chase. This is in Riverside, California. And then yeah. he blew his brains out in the car. The girl is unharmed. The girl is out. good. I mean, you know, she did lose her mother and her grandparents. Oh yeah, I didn't say psychologically. And then, um, not you know, her. she did see this man shoot himself in the head. Although I will say, one of the things about Los Angeles is the police chases. I watched one yesterday oh, yeah. on Local News Five, and it was a it was a white truck. It was a utility truck. And there were five people in it. They all looked to be around 19 to 20 years old. Those are the ones who do it. Impetuous my, my goodness gracious. Everyone's like, oh, there's just two people in there. It was a tiny car. And then there was a total of five. It was like a clown car. That's how we used to drive. But you watch it, man. The guy ends up taking a turn. He skids out. And then, boom, the chase is over. But in this case, uh, the chase ended with this guy blowing his brains out. But that is one fun thing. That you can watch when you move out here. I mean, well, dude, uh, you know what? I'll, one day, what we'll do? There's another episode I want last podcast to do. Have you ever heard anything about the North Hollywood Bank shootout? Oh my god, yeah, where here? they were dressed like uh, like furnaces. Yeah, yeah. It's oh yeah, dude. Sweet. That's why they got all the guns. It was so bad. As a matter of fact, they had to go to a guns. The cops had to go to a gun store and be like, "Give us your best stuff." And ever since then, they've been armed to the teeth. Yeah, it seems um, that it set off a precedent yes, that it's that, not been good for the rest of them. That video, if you haven't seen it, it is like fucking it's nuts, crazy. dude. Because they end up pinging the one dude in the shin. That was the first injury, yeah, I think. Yeah, that's how they got him. But literally, they were wearing like full body 1,500 armor. pounds of steel. Have you seen the picture of this cop? Austin no, let's Lee see Edwards. this guy. Look at this fucking insult. Look at he's this. He's such a cop. He is just so gross. He's I, got I, the big head. He's got the real like landing strip got, chin. I don't know what's going on with that guy. He's got preemie face. Yeah, he You know does. what I mean? It's weird when a guy has like a full like fetus head, but he, he looks like fucking, uh, what's his name? Like elephant man, not alpha man. He looks like um from friggin' uh, uh like uh Ron Howard's eraser brother. head, but the oh, baby eraser head. Um, but then uh, apparently what he did was that his he had just purchased a home for eighty thousand dollars in where? Virginia. In Virginia, it, yeah, and I think it, and he blacked can't. out the le he blacked out the windows to his home. Oh my god! And so he's it, gonna make a torture. Oh dungeon. yeah, it was gonna be a whole thing, and they caught him like going. He was a, he was wearing this like weird trench coat to hide when he was signing up for utilities and shit. Yeah, he was gonna make oh, it like a great. murder house. Yeah, that's awesome, dude. Uh, wow, there was just also that case we covered a couple of weeks ago where that person. Oh god. Anyway, that's horrible. I'm um, according that's to great. Michelle Blandon. She says, "Parents, please, please know your child's online activity." Uh, absolutely. So, I mean, again, you can't blame the child for this. They you know what I know. would do? They get ripped up. No, you don't. That's why you have parenting. But I would give my kid, I say, you know what, kid? You know what I used to do? Porno mags. Well, because that's the only reason that the kid needs to really be online. Oh, no, they like the it. games. No, they can have a PlayStation. Yeah, it's true. But you can meet people on PlayStation too, but it's just not quite as, it's no, you not meet people quite like as nasty. Cena Gosnaby. It, you meet smart people. Because Cena well, does yell at you. If you he do does. play Call of Duty, you will eventually meet Cena Gosnavi. He's on there, and he is a he is vicious on that headset. Absolutely. So that's what I would say. So you you get cherry like everybody else, and you pick through uh, some of the nasty photos, and you find what you like. But you're not looking on that GD computer, and you're not getting a fucking smartphone. These things are gonna. I'm not getting. I can't wait to get rid of this goddamn smartphone. I can't um, wait to do it. I hate it. 
except I love Google Maps. I just I like it for our little stories here, so we can thumb through. But other than that, um, there's so anyway. this, I want to send you this thing. Also in Idaho, very strange, mysterious, unidentified booms. These are one of these things that I like, you know, because this is like high strangeness adjacent. Mm. Like I love the phantom noises. We've done these before. People have heard these giant booms in the sky. Uh, th that style, like be, you know, it, it sounds really crazy. It sounds like an explosion. And here's another one. And I want to play the audio of it so that you guys can hear that it, it was recorded. Mm -hmm. uh, which is, th this is why I think this one's different than the other ones that I've seen. And it's because someone actually caught it and they don't know where the fuck this noise came from. Now, this came from Kutenai County. I believe that that's how it's pronounced. I'm sure you nailed oh, it. Oh, yeah. And this Absolute. is in Idaho, North Idaho. North Here Idaho. Here we go. And I'm going to play this noise out loud for what you. What is people. going on in Idaho? You hear that boom? Oh, I've been to the bathroom before, my friend. That's no. what that sounds like to me. It was crazy. It, they said it was, a, and they said they felt it too. They yeah. felt the explosion everywhere. Um, there is no, they, they thought that maybe there was a train, it was an explosion at a train yard, but they couldn't find that. I got well, this the, through. Uh, um, the uh, sheriff said that they said it was a sonic boom. But they, they're just saying that. Well, but that's that's the information we have. But you would need, the problem is, is that they're saying they have concluded that it was likely, quote unquote, a sonic boom related to aviation or space, but we need the flight patterns. You What's going on? Yeah, you're going to want to get the stuff? flight patterns Girl, on that shut one. Up. Shut up. Yeah, you're going to want to get that flight patterns there. No, you want to, uh, it's, you, we don't know if there were the planes that can make the sonic booms. Sonic boom. They think, like, what planes make sonic booms? Oh, I think a whole bunch of them make the sonic boom. Well, either way, what isn't jets that make exciting? sonic booms, right? Because you know, there's oh, the F-22 does it, F-15. But again, yeah, it would, they would have to be strafed because they also felt it down on the ground. They don't know what the fuck happened. Uh, it is, if you have any uh, any sort of experience with a, a phantom boom, side stories, L-P-O-T-L at gmail.com. I love that type of shit. They don't know where it came from. And mm. again, we, we don't know. We don't know, Kiss. We simply um, do not know. But do you see how they also revealed that new top secret plane? I believe called the B-21 Oh, bomber. I did see that. Yes. yes. The B-21. Mm -hmm. And that was what was probably seen in the surveillance footage mm. that dude that was doing the Area 51 website. That's like kind of, that's kind of the postulate is that that's why he was arrested, well, is that he revealed that before it's not it was nearly, no it's longer not, top secret. It's not nearly as fun as the B-52 plane. No. Because they're always partying and having a good time. Oh, you're well, talking about Love the, Shack. Love Shack? Yes. I was kind of had a crush on that one woman with the oh, big, like, beehive. Yeah, she's gorgeous. I liked her. Moving on in Arizona, this, thank God, this man has been caught. His name is uh, Samuel Bateman. Oh, his, no, no, change. Uh, can you please tell me his middle name? It's, uh... What, no, it's, it's it's what was it? It's, it's, it's uh, I believe it's rapey. Uh, it's, well, it's rapely. It's it's rapely. Uh, uh, the rapely it's, uh, is the way you say it. It's it's how you say it. But you'd say, uh, but it's more of an adjective for what his activity was like. Rapely, 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 uh, rapely. So, uh, because he was, of course, he is a boutique cult leader uh, that is a part of a fringe group that is a uh, side no, to the fundamental yeah. church of Jesus Christ of Latter Day Saints. He's a fake Mormon. Um, and he just got busted with three of his child brides in a U-Haul truck with a fake living room put inside of it. They had a little t like what? a TV set and uh -huh. it had a uh, couch in it and they were forced to shit in a bucket and he was oh. trafficking them across state lines. And it's looking like he has something like 20, 20 child brides. Uh, One the, might be his own daughter. Yes. Authorities found three girls between the ages of 11 and 14 in the trailer of a U-Haul. Uh, it had a makeshift toilet. And uh, yeah, couch, camping well, chairs, I don't no give ventilation. It, apparently um, what he did was, is that he was in his car where he started, where he had his revelation that he needed to have brides. What a revelation. Brides. Whoa, whoa, that, I just got hit with it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa. Um, but he was in the car. This is really disgusting. He was in the car with his daughter and his former wife, right? And he turned to his new daughter. I mean, and by wife, like, it's another like 10 year old. No, 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 no. This is before he became a polygamous cult leader. Oh, okay. What he was saying to his daughter was like, you know, you had that dream that I'm your husband. We can make that real where your father can be one. Don't you want to be a wife to your father? That's and so it, disgusting. Yeah, it's not good. And then yeah. the wife was like, didn't like it. 
Yeah, and I would so think that she, that would be a problem. She took the daughter, yeah. but then he's now been finding a way. But now, yeah, that's what he's been doing. He's been building up this group of children that he just loves. And believe it or not, of course he doesn't. He hates them, and he's a, he's a predator. But he was yeah, he's a, not good. The guy. He was a uh, one of the most trusted followers of the now imprisoned leader Warren Jeffs. No way. Yes, but Jeff. What? I know. No. But in a, I thought. I thought Warren had such good taste in people. No, indeed he's not. Uh, hopefully he's wow. getting absolutely destroyed in prison. I'm sure he is. But apparently uh, Jeff's recently denounced Bateman. Uh, so uh, in a uh, in a in a written revelation after in 2023, can we no longer use the word denounce or rebuke? Denouncing. Can we just because that is just the dumbest. Like, it's just like, huh, what a creep. As he says there with like girls panties wrapped around his fucking glasses. He's mm. like, oh. What well, a creep. At least I married him first. Yeah, his name is Samuel Rapey Lee Bateman. Yeah, he did his whole life. And, he, uh, he, he, he was born how he lived, so just like that. But yeah, he's uh, he's saying that he, uh, what he would he do is- He only faces, uh, uh, if convicted, Bateman only faces a maximum of 20 years in prison, but on each no, federal charge. No, look at the charge. Duggars, man. Look into what happened with Josh Duggar uh, and the-, the Oh, the, God. I can't believe how little jail time he got. Uh, it's the same thing, man. It, it will, listen, if you want to know more about the Duggars and this whole community, listen to someplace underneath. Natalie and Amber do a mm. full deep dive into this whole community. And I'm happy that they take the lead on that stuff. It's, well, it's, I don't want to know about the Duggar family because that's 18 and holding, right? 18 and counting. 18. That was the reality yes, show. No, but then they maybe, got up to like 20 some kids. It's not good. It's again, it's just like there maybe there other, should be a cap. Maybe. But there was that other reality couple, the, the Chrisleys. Well, that's there. There's so the Chrisleys. They are too. now in jail, too. It seems to be a running theme. Uh, but yeah, he's uh, he's a bad guy. Um, and he said that he could magically reinstall Hyman's. Oh. He's in the power of God. Isn't that nice? Well, Isn't that nice? God takes it. He goes, he wakes up every day. He gives somebody else new aids. He figures out a new way to hide the chupacabra. That's And nice. then he fucking puts all these hymens back in these child brides. God, how do you do it? He must get up early. Yeah, I don't know. Because he, he, he a big guy. Him and the rock. The, the I wonder what God's workout routine's like. I don't think that he would really have to if he would if he was a uh, real. But uh, mm. anyway, there you go. So that's disgusting. And thank God that that man has been arrested. And yep. uh, hopefully he spends the rest of his days behind bars. Yeah, I hope he will at least a bunch of them. And then when he sees in jail, hopefully then somebody fixes it. Mm -hmm. Live from your grave. Well, just lastly for me, a uh, dude. He was a tree trimmer. Uh, he uh, he died, and uh, it's He's very a sad. Kissel, I love um, the I love the way that we just end we end the episode on all the sad stuff. Yes. So a local tree trimmer contractor was doing some work, right? And uh, then one of the employees became. Uh, he was like, "Oh, what's going on here? Let me let me do this." Anyway, long story short, he fell into a wood chipper. I mean, again, and, it's uh, Christmas. Technically, it's, it's that's horrible. a fun thing in a way. If this was a scene from a Christmas-based horror movie, it would be kind of fun. It's like you're sitting inside and you're looking to see the guy go, oh, like, you know, about to fall off the roof. He falls into the wood chipper, squirts all his fucking, like, his guts all over the house. Parents come home. They think it's all fun, new Christmas decorations. Well, Halloween. Like, that's kind of fun. They go, like, we had the idea. It's like, you know, why can't we put some Halloween into Christmas? Joseph Joey Wesley Menar, 46, working at the home there in Owensboro. Yeah, and this, then, uh, yeah, then he just, yeah, fell, he just right. fell in a well, wood You never know how yeah. you're going to go, though. Well, you I never know. You know how you know that you, you know how your wood chipper related incidents go up oh. the more you dangle above them. Yeah, and well, that feel was my like only question. You just really got to be very careful with these things. He's putting the lights on there. I don't know why they were like, let's put the wood chipper here. It's because you're trying yeah. to get it all done in one go, man. You're trying to, I, I, you know, I'm one of those. I get all the groceries in one go. I don't care how difficult it is. I don't care that literally my pants fall down if I have two things in my hands. Yeah. All right. I know that I'm already here. I the neighbors, if they want to see me with my pants around my ankles, fucking get in line. It is kind of funny right, because you fall down. You have all your milk all spills all over you. I get stuff. it. It's a fun time. It's a fun time to watch a man yeah. bumble things. Foul right? play is not suspected, but uh, no. Yeah, of course not. No, he just fell I in the wood chipper. Uh, he died like Clark Griswold, uh, and it's very. It, it's going to happen to us because that is might. how more men. I believe it's between the ages of 35 and 50 die over heart disease, over, fucking huh? accidents, home accidents. 
You got to be real careful. Ugh. All right, because you've seen it. How many times, Kissel? Like, honestly. I fell this year. This year has been horrible. Yeah, you really got hurt. You really, really got hurt. And you be, you, I've done those where you've just been like, whoa, I almost fell in the street just then, like, you know, got a, tripped over a thing. Yeah. Almost, like, fell into traffic where you definitely would have been dead. Absolutely. Yeah, Especially yeah. in New York. It used to happen more when you were walking so much. All right. Well, let's do Hero of the Week. All right. Grandmothers. Who doesn't love them? I mean, my grandmother it, was actually a terrible woman. Well, my grandmother was one was very nice and one was kind of mean. The irony is the one that was nice was the German one. Mm. Um, the one that was mean was Lutheran. Yes, well, I mean, it makes sense. But she was still kind of fun. She uh, called my little brother a uh, chipmunk because she hated chipmunks. Or was it squirrel? I think it was squirrel. Yeah, she was the difficult one. She was. She would uh, force all the men to drink so she could have sex with them. Um, but anyway, uh, this grandmother, her name is Cheryl Skidaus. Skidow. She's in her 70s. And Good. you know these kids, what are they like? Superhero movies. So she was filmed watching all the Marvel superhero movies in a marathon. It included 30 films. And she was taking notes the whole time. And she was taking notes so this she could relate to her children. For Marvel. So this is just Cheryl Disney, from Gainesville. This is more Disney propaganda. She has 13 the grandparents grandkids. From Ump, the grandparents from Ump. That Ump? should be a Pixar movie. Ump. But the, from the grandparents from Up would have ne- no one would have cared. They don't have any grandkids. They had a miscarriage. Uh, that was the entire fucking beginning of that Who movie, cares? which is why he liked the sh- short fat kid that came to his house. I know, Thank God that turned out as good as it did. Technically, it was a nightmare. Yeah, because if Up was about his oh, erection. Okay, there we go. <laughs> so they got 13 grandkids, <laughs> ages 6 to 22. And she was like, I want to relate to them. And so she said, I'm going to take notes and watch all of the Marvel movies. She should have taught them and about then the history of systemic racism. She could have as well. But don't you learn that a little bit through the through the films? <laughs> um, she just finished 2017 Spider-Man's Homecoming, where her notes are revealed in one clip. She says, OK, she says, according to Jackson, her favorite film so far is Thor because, quote, the actor is hot. The family loves it. She, he said. I just can't believe uh, we just all how think, much shill, we how, all think how Gran, deep a shill this grandmother is. We all think Gran is getting the recognition she deserves for being an amazing grandmother because they put her taking notes on TikTok. Like, no, no, they're going to fucking, then, they're going to bring her to, she's going to, oh God, she's going to go into some comic book form. She's going to end up saying something being like, oh, superhero should be white. Or like something, someone's going to come out and you're like, well, you know, grandma, oh, grandma, let's take those notes. Oh, it was cute when you had these notes, huh? You know, like, well, move them away, move her away from the cameras, just being like, I got something to say about the Jews. And be like, well, oh, Grandma, let's just stick to Iron Man. Well, isn't she timely right? then? Isn't she timely? So uh, this is her Spider-Man note. She says, homecoming date Liz is the Vulture's daughter. Vulture threatens to kill Peter. Ned helps. Uh, Superman. She uh, just go, she I said, mean, again, Spider-Man, not to be anything, but said, you can also just go on Wikipedia and get the plot. Yeah. But then she says, Spider-Man trapped in collapsed building. And then he's and then she says, in quotes, if you're nothing without the suit, you you shouldn't have it. And that was a quote. And then she says, Vulture takes over Stark playing battles with Spider-Man. Explosion. This is just Spider-Man this is just, saves this is Liz. You clumsily Liz's, reading the no, scattered at, notes of an ancient notes. woman. Like this is just notes. this is not radio. It is this radio. Is radio. This is not look radio. Look at those notes. Spider-Man, yeah, sure. I don't even think she wrote this. Well, it looks like she did because I it think looks fucking Robert Downey Jr. Difficult that. to difficult to read. It does honestly. The letters are very big. Yes. All right, everyone. So you're the hero of the week. This grandmother, Cheryl Skidos. Skidos. There you go. That's fine. Isn't that nice? It's whatever. Thirteen grandkids. I mean, I always she, wondered what it would be like to have a big family like that. She had a big pussy. You should actually no. really go out there and like you know just sample some. I know I gotta start seeding soon. Oh god. That's what they say. Oh god, no. I can't I can't deal with the Nick Cannon drama. No, I don't you, want to you balance all of your side families. No, I it'll be all one it's gonna oh, whatever. There we go. Let's try for some listener emails. I grew up in a rural Arizona town noted for hauntings and paranormal activity. Now, I'm no stranger to oddities and things that go bump in the night. Hmm. When I got older, I moved to the city. And I lived in a fairly normal urban life. Recently, however, with the rise of prices and rentals, my family got driven out to the rural suburbs surrounding the city. Oh, sorry about that. That fucking sucks. Hey, man, suburbs are nice. Get in there. You know what I mean? You, 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 you Is that where they want to be? I don't know. I don't know. 
Now, specifically, the place we are renting now is so far outside the city to the south of uh, that it's the south of me is just a giant field of corn. Tall, stately, waving corn. <laughs> I love it. When we moved in, I used to joke with my wife that the corn was calling me. That one day I would just drive out into the corn and never come back. <laughs> I get it. I get it. It was all in good fun. But as time passed, I felt myself more and more drawn to the corn. More and more drawn to the corn. For <laughs> He's getting drawn to the corn, huh? It was always in the back of my mind like an itch between your shoulder blades that you can't scratch. Like the, the awamakuchi. Um, Ugh, I why are you bringing back? Hey, I don't even care um, about Megan. Tra- I don't. No I, diss. I don't even care. Whatever she can do, whatever she wants. But why are you listening? I'm to I'm just it? saying. I I never chose to listen to the song one time. Okay. It's like corn. Go to the mm-hmm. corn. I would be driving home and I'd pass the turn off for the corn. No must turn and just drive out to the field. I couldn't explain it. It was a compulsion. Finally, one day, I did just that. I was on my way home early, and I had a bit of time to burn, so I decided I would just drive out to the corn. Drive out to the corn. See what's what. See what's <laughs> Yeah, why not? Take a look at this corn. Right? But think sure. about this corn. I'm with you. I get it. Yeah, right? it's okay. And I turned off the main road into a scraggly dirt road that ran straight as an arrow through the middle of the cornfield, and I drove until all I could see was corn on every <sighs> side of the road headed off into the horizon. Now, I stopped, of, Yeah. and I got out, and it just felt right. right? It felt like this is where I should be. <laughs> All right. No, I don't uh-huh. really remember what happened next too clearly, but I do recall driving up to our townhouse and realizing the sun had gone down. Oh, wow. So I had, been, I had been gone for at least an hour, right? My wife demanded to know where I had been as she had tried to call and text and I hadn't answered. Uh-oh. And when I told her that I had went to the corn, she thought I was pulling her leg and she got really angry. Oh, that sounds fun. She refused to believe I'd spend an hour or two just standing in the corn, ignoring my phone. It does sound like you're also using side stories to cover your affair. It might right? be. Like, this is all you're trying to you try to create a whole well, system. Well, it's only an hour. Of, it's, uh, That's right. Uh, I, yeah, I mean, also, is it nice to just be unavailable? You're also living in the suburbs now. You get one affair a year. Yes, because you have to. Because everybody nothing else to do. Just nothing know that if you're fucking, your wife's got to fuck too. Everybody's got to fuck. Mm-hmm. Now, what I do recall clear as a bell, though, was that a few weeks later, I was lying in bed. It being the weekend, I had nothing planned, so I was awake, but not getting up, just sort of relaxing, when suddenly I had a blinding pain in my head. Uh. Like someone had punched me in the sinuses. I couldn't see. My whole world was just pain. I curled into a ball, and I was screaming. My wife told me that for hours, I just lay there screaming in pain, my nose bleeding constantly, clutching my head. And it wasn't until about 4 p.m. that day that it had stopped as mysteriously as it had begun. Like flicking a light switch, suddenly there was no more pain. I could see again, and my nose stopped bleeding. We knew between COVID and other things that we should take, we shouldn't take anything for granted. So I got dressed up for us to go to the ER or urgent care. We got to sit here for the kids and we stepped outside and I could finally see it. All the way to the horizon, the entire court field it had been knocked down. Mm. Harvesters had come in and stripped all the corn and all that was left were just some sad broken stalks and empty dirt. Talked to farmers. the neighbors. They're just farmers. No, corn rapists. <laughs> right? Talking to neighbors. Uh-huh. Now we confirmed that they started right around the time my it started and it obviously just finished up. We went to the ER and they did a CAT scan and an MRI and other imaging and told me that they couldn't find anything. But if it came back, right, to go straight to the ER while it was happening to schedule a follow-up with my doctor, nothing came of it. And you went by and they replanted the corn. Yeah, but now a, whenever I drove farm. past, you no, know, it's a corn rehabilitation center. <laughs> it's okay. But now whenever I drive past or think of the corn, instead of a compulsion to go into the fields, I get a deep dread. I'm loathing. I want to hurry home as human, as humanly fast, fast as humanly possible. Great. I couldn't even force myself to turn into the corn. Ever couldn't even again. do that. Not, Not even, even as a it. test. Yeah, look at that. All right. Yeah. Reminds me of the beginning of that one film. I forget the name of it entirely. Corn. No, uh, it's a, no. There was that one that was, was really uh, good. Corn. It wasn't uh, Stephen corn. King. It was a corn-based horror film, not Children of the Corn. No, well, Children of the Corn's fantastic. No, it was it was like a field. No, it was uh, not Children of the Corn. Dead, dead end. No, not uh, corn. End, end, end times. Ten or? horror movies set on farms. It wasn't that one. It was. It I went to tall in the blades of the tall grass. In the tall grass. Oh yeah, that's a good one there. 
That's God. the one you're thinking. No, of. it's not. It's it starts. That's with, the one where it's the compulsion to go out into the. No, and I'm not talking about that one though. This is the foreign film where it starts where they're in a car accident in the field, and then I believe a uh, a, a metal object, a uh, a saw or something comes and takes her freaking head off. Oh, you're talking about um. Wow, this is terrible. Again, we're just guessing dead end, things. Dead end. Uh, we're just saying things. Uh, it doesn't. But we are now. We forgot right. we're recording. Is that it? That is it. All right. <laughs> we, if you remember what he's talking about, God help us all. Oh, uh, high tension. Yes, whole tension. It's French. High tension. Hey, you got to get live out there every day, knowing for a fact. Sometimes you got to follow your base impulses, right? Yep, I think it's it. important sometimes live your life in the moment. Go into the corn, right? Go into the corn. If Use it's your those, corn, it, no, you know what? Corn belongs to God. All right. Technically, it belongs to every Native American. So ask a Native American first. Am I allowed to go into the corn? Going in the corn, right? Is that bad? I don't know. You can. We used to drink in cornfields all the time. Yeah, sure. Yeah, of course. You can drink anywhere. I drink in my home. Yeah, but when you're a kid, you can't drink anywhere. But you go out there, right? Follow those compulsions. Do steroids if you want to not be natty. You right? You can just tell people well, you're natty. It's not anybody's business if you're doing steroids or not. If you you're have not to be selling on a cycle supplements with a doctor. But it's the thing. If you're not doing supplements and telling people that you're natty for a living, right? Then you can do it all you want and get thick. I'm going to do it. No, you're not. I'm going to spend, again, in my 60s, I'm going to get big. You're not going to do it. I'm going to get, before There's I become no gay need. in the 80s, I'm going to be big yes. and muscular in the 60s. Great. Right? I'm going to go through every phase. I'm going to be I'm going to be every version of every man that's ever been. To be honest with you, you've, you've kind of settled on one. You've it does really, seem to been... be inescapable. Yeah. yeah. It is like this. Right. Um, and then um, you laugh at everybody who bought your supplements because you told them you were natty and you laugh at them and you <laughs> yeah. take their money because you don't give a fucking shit. Well, dude. that was the only problem. I mean, that's the thing. And that yeah. is the problem. That is I the know. problem, right? And you also, you're in the corn, man. Laugh about it. Did it. Live your dream. Absolutely. Right? I feel like... Love your corn. Love your perfectly sculpted body. You know what also mm -hmm. with the problem with, you know what was the liver king's downfall? He was, he was mad at his love handles. Love your love handles. Yeah, who cares? Because he's saying that was his problem. That's why he got the, onto the cycle was because of his love handles. Again, it's fine that he was, he can do whatever he wants, but he just, he lied. He lied. But that's all right. He'll, he, you know, we have to, I'll, I'll forgive him. I'll forgive him. The pressures of social media, huh? I do think he got, I think he got overwhelmed. I think he got way over his No, head. he said it he's up. He's very short. Well, he said in the emails that he was like, I'm trying to get up to a million followers. I have this whole idea. He was basically said that it was all a put on. Oh, yeah. That a fake. single bit of it was natural. Mm -hmm. Like he had set up a whole lifestyle to do it like this. But he did technically did eat the liver and he did he eat the stuff. He does eat that stuff. Yeah, he does eat that stuff. But he also uses steroids. Yeah. Anytime you're like something king, it just seems like you're getting ready for a downfall. Yeah, Tiger King. Yeah, Liver King. Burger King. What's going to happen? Well, of course, uh, down under, it's uh, it's Jax. You see that Papa John's Jax? getting jujitsu. Is that right? Yeah, man. He's, yeah. Getting fucking, he's getting like a like an anaconda. All right. Whatever keeps him uh, from doing horrible things. I don't think, I think it's going to help him do horrible things. It might. All right, everyone. Well, thank you so much for listening. We'll be back next week. Yeah. Hail yourselves. Hail Satan. Because the legend, everybody. Yeah, she is. You know, she is. I'm going to come to your house. Why don't I come to your fucking house? Go to the corn. Go to the corn. Go to the corn. This show is made possible by listeners like you. Thanks to our ad sponsors. You can support our shows by supporting them. For more shows like the one you just listened to, go to lastpodcastnetwork.com.